Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to stack adjacent Excel columns into one long column without using any VBA obscure tools or formulas. This is a very basic beginner method that works for everybody and frankly it is the best method even for advanced users. Now it can get a bit cumbersome if you're dealing with a lot of data, but I will teach you a fix at the end to be able to use this method even if you have thousands of rows of thousands of columns and it will take less than a minute, no matter how much data you have. But let's get started. First step, go to the bottom of the, of the first column, get a cell directly beneath the first column, and press equal, and make it equal to the first cell of the second column. In this case, it is B1. And next step is go to the fill handle, and drag the fill handle all the way over to the last column. And the last step is go to the fill handle and drag the fill handle down until you reach the row that corresponds to the number of cells in this, in the grid. In this case, it is 50. You have to figure it out before. There are a few easy ways to figure it out. And here we go. It is, we got everything stacked up in the first column. How beautiful. I'm just going to press copy. I'm going to paste the values so that we get rid of those formulas. And we're going to delete all these columns because we don't need them anymore. And we have our beautiful column over here. Now, as I promised, I will show you a way to do this. Even if you have lots of rows or lots of columns and you don't want to have to drag the fill handle all the way across until you reach the end wasting all that time. So here we go. Um, there's, there's no straightforward way to do this, but using a few quick Excel keyboard shortcuts, you can do this quite easily. There are actually a few different ways how to do this. I will be showing you one way. If you think your way is better, let me know in your comments. So let's start. First step is the same as before. We go to the cell directly beneath the first column and make it equal the first row the first cell of the second column which is b1 good now for the next step we will be highlighting this whole area the all the, the this whole grid press control and shift together press up and then press right to move over and now you have the whole grid highlighted and if your grid is larger in the window, the window will now have moved to be over this top right corner. Now, move down to the bottom, or look down to the bottom, where it says count. This is Excel telling you how many cells are highlighted, which is the amount of cells that, that are in your grid. And you put that number right over here, into the first empty cell on the top row. So, that number was 40. Let's put down number 40 over here. Now, go to the top over here where it says fill, and go to series, now click columns, now for step value, click negative 1, for step value, click type 1, now press OK, and you got a whole bunch of numbers over here, so it goes down all, all the way till number 1. Now, for the next step, we got to go down and highlight this cell right over here, the cell that is one row over and one column down from the last cell in our grid. The, an easy way to do that, because of course you will not be seeing this cell if this goes all the way down, a bunch of rows down, is you press the left arrow, then press control down, then press the down arrow one more time, and the right arrow, and you are there. Now, Simply press Control Shift Left and Control Shift Down. And now to fill the data into this highlighted box, just press Control R and then Control D. And you get all this filled in, and once again, beautifully in column A, you get all the data you need lined up. You just press Copy and you press paste values to get rid of the formulas again 
Now if you want to delete all the cells quickly, you just highlight the first row and press Control shift over and press delete. And to get to the top, of course, just press Control up and now Control left and here is your beautiful column and it could be as long as you want it to be. And as you see, this method does not takes takes very little time, very little expertise and is efficient and gives you everything you need. Let me know if this method was useful for you and if you have any ideas or easier ways to do it, of course, let me know. Thank you.